Meantime, Dan Ives, Webbush security analyst, joins us this morning, has a new note looking at the impact of a TikTok ban, something we've been trying to work our way through as we kept our eyes on the Hill Dam. What do you... Well, I won't ask you to, to give the, the calculus on passage in the Senate, but let's pretend this goes through. What happens? Look, it's a game of high-stakes poker. Because, first of all, there's a retaliatory in terms of China. What do they do with Apple, Tesla, in terms of that? You know, is this eventually acquired by big tech? What could the valuation be? Call it $100 billion plus. But then we believe 25% chance that this ultimately passes just given the regulatory spider web that we see, clearly meta benefits and others. But look, we believe this is a slippery slope. It's a watershed moment. You are playing a little with fire going down this route. And we think this is within the beltway. It is very, it's, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. And I think now we need to see how this all plays out over the coming weeks in this sort of 202 uh, drama. So would, your, would you be re-rating meta snap higher or lower? So we still believe here, based on all of our work in the Bellway and our advisors, 25% chance this ultimately passes. But with that said, it's incrementally positive for Meta, for Snap, for others. But, but I think we need to see how this all plays out over the coming weeks. But no doubt, if I go back a month ago, the fact that we're actually here and the House passes it, given the, the pressure that we've seen, it's a surprise. And I think it's a surprise in Beijing. Look, I just got back from China and, the, you know, in terms of overall Asia, and you see a lot of tensions that's rising. This is not what we want to see in Beijing. So what does this mean for the potential retaliatory measures that China could, could place here if it's, a, you know, at least a near-term positive for a meta or a snap, but then China retaliates against U.S. tech? Then what could that look like? Well, and for Cook, for Musk, that's the issue here. Right. And, and as we've talked about a lot right now, it's not roses and rainbows for Apple and for... Tesla in China, the retaliatory is what you worry about here. Not, not for Meta and others, but specifically for Apple and for Tesla. And that's why we say you're playing with fire. And this game of high stakes poker, it's great for grandstanding here, but not just from a First Amendment perspective, it could have massive implications from a retaliatory in what's already in terms of that U.S. China cold tech war. Yeah, I mean, I brought this up yesterday. How would we react if China decided, oh, Tesla, you've got to divest your, your operations in, in China to BYD? We would not react well to that. Uh, that said, it's very much unclear, Dan, I should just point out from my own reporting, that there's any chance the Chinese would allow ByteDance to sell TikTok to another company, including the source code and the algorithm. That's not going to happen. Uh, and so it's very hard to figure out what will happen here. Um, before we let you go, though, I wanted to actually come back to Tesla and just have you respond to this Wells Fargo note today, questioning, obviously, significant discounts, profit per car coming way down, and their price target at Wells now, I think, 125. Yeah, we strongly disagree with them. Obviously, we respect the analysts and the call, but I think right now, overly negatively discounted in terms of the Tesla story. Look, near-term, clearly, units are going to be soft for 1Q. Just getting back from the region, I believe price cuts are now starting to subside in China. That's important. I think when you look through the next six, nine months, we're going to look at this as more of a golden buying opportunity for Tesla over the next two, three years, especially with AI, rather than the time to throw in the white towel. But for now, we all know. I mean, the New York City cab driver is bearish on Tesla here. <laughs> What does that mean? Sorry. <laughs> Every, look, everyone's bearish. The piling on's there. The bears are coming out of hibernation mode. I get I it. See what you mean, yeah. But we believe now is not time to throw in the towel on Tesla and Apple. I think we see there six, nine months now. Stock's much higher.